Hey buddy, you are in for a great ride if you only knew what was coming. Because I had no idea what was coming. And I started in, in uh, 66, 67, never dreaming what it would become and what it would be. Yeah, you're going to have a great ride. Charts will put it in our heads and tested us, and tested us, and tested us to make sure that we knew more than just singing in choir. And so we went and we're blown away. Could not believe what we were seeing on that stage. How was your day at work? I says, well, I had fun today. And a lot of people can't say that on their best day. The guy that, that we were playing with completely missed that. And he went right into a key change. And we found ourselves in a big train wreck. And, and we had two different halves of the stage playing one half step apart from each other. And I just said, stop. You start, you listen to the early songs um, where we were buying copies that were published, where the music was rearranged into SATB because there was no concept of singing other than span alto tenor bass. You're, it was acquired and that's the way it was arranged. I did some of those arrangements and little by little I started realizing that that wasn't really what we wanted to do. The choir had to do it. It was, it was the requirement. But the musicians, you know, I'm sure that they were stepping over each other to try to get that, that part. Once we got rolling, and once we started seeing what could be done, instrumentalists particularly would come on the scene out of the, out of the woodwork. I wouldn't even know where they came from. We'd get tired because we would have to do it over again and do it over again. And then we'd be like, oh. How long is this going to take? Everybody in the school knew about the 10 page test because everybody in acapella talked about it all the time. It was the ultimate test of your musical knowledge. It was a timed test. Each page I did twice to time it so that if, if you knew your stuff during the amount of time that I would do it twice, you would have plenty of time. Each page covered a different thing. One page would cover the names of notes. I was in the middle of that song. I was on stage singing it too, and I had to stop. And I was, I, I had to stop because I was getting choked up. This is the thing, is it brought out an emotion, a genuine, pure emotion in people that were involved in it. And as music does, and when it's honest and it's real, it, it touches your heart, and that's what it should do. I don't know exactly how it happened or why I decided that song, but the Aquarius by the Fifth Dimension grabbed my attention somehow or other, and after the first couple of three years when we didn't do a closer because the concert was only seven, eight, nine songs, once we started needing a closing song, Aquarius we tried one time, and from that year on, it just seemed to be the right way. The glitter bow uh, rolls, and you can sing to let the sun shine in, Till the cows come home. You can sing it for a few times through, or sometimes we used to sing it, I don't know, 18, 20 times through until we just wore out. And then at the end, the last the sun shined in, and the hands go up, and everybody goes crazy. <laughs> 